डियर चिल्ड्रन या अली मदद वेलकम टू लेसन फोर ऑफ लर्निंग सीरीज ग्रोइंग इन टू अवर बेस्ट सेल्फ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द इन वेल्यूएबल गाइडेंस दैट नूर मौलाना शाह करीम अल हुसैनी हाजिर इमाम सलवातुल्ला has shared with the students of our jamaat during a special mulaqat on March 22 1989 in Hyderabad Pakistan This farman is rich with wisdom and foresight and it contains crucial lessons that can shape our approach to education and life Let's explore the key takeaways from this farman and hear reflections from students of our global jamaat on some essential questions let's watch a small video clip of that farman you have understood from my farman this evening that essentially what i am saying to you is look 10 years 20 years ahead of what this country needs select those subjects which interest you which will be necessary in the future of Pakistan and then work hard very hard very 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 hard very hard very hard indeed and what i mean by that is that a student can do just enough to get past and then the rest of the time you have social engagements and you have sport and entertainment and movies and all the rest and <laughs> those are the students who have a wonderful time when they're students but later on when they have to look for a job and they have to hold a job and they have to earn for themselves and their families they found they find that maybe they saw too many movies maybe they went to too many coffee houses and these sort of things are fine in measure but they are not good for students who have a genuine sense of direction so don't accept mediocrity enjoy your lives you are young you should enjoy your lives and i am pr- approve that you enjoy your lives i was a student also don't forget it so i know what it is to go to coffee houses and movies but you must say to yourselves that if you do not use your time as students properly there is an accounting The Quran speaks about accounting. There is an accounting. And you cannot put the clock back. The time that you wasted is time which is impossible to make up. So enjoy yourselves but with good reason. Be demanding of yourselves and work hard. Now there Let's turn to Rabia Amir and see what she has to say about how Maulana Hazrat Imam describes education as a guarantee for security in life even in the face of adversity. Maulana Hazrat Imam described education as the only real guarantee of security in one's life. He emphasized that no matter what you lose in life your family wealth or possessions if you have a trained mind you will always find a way to overcome challenges even in the face of adversity education provides the resilience needed to rebuild and succeed again wisdom filled words of molana hazir imam reminds us of the profound importance of education not just as a means to an end but as a life long shield against life's uncertainties let's turn to alia fahmi and see what she has to say the consequences of your using our time while there is to get can be severe 
when an Ahazir mom has born that they to spend their student years indulging in entertainment and social activities at the expense of their studies, will later find themselves struggling in their professional lives. He emphasized that no time cannot be regained and the clock cannot be turned back. Indeed, the choices we make today will echo throughout our lives. Molana Hazir Imam shared his vision with us, his young spiritual children, to guide us in making the right choices of our future. Let's turn to Sabrin Beg and see what she has to say. Molana Hazir Imam hopes that by sharing his vision, we as young spiritual children will make informed decisions that lead to fulfillment and happiness. He wants us to think critically about the future and choose subjects and careers that will be essential in the decades ahead, especially in a country like Pakistan. So after hearing this Farman, what should we do? What does Molana Hazir Imam encourage us to focus on? Let's turn to Zanira Nigasha and see what she has to say. Maulana Hazir Imam encourages us to work very hard. He repeated this advice multiple times, stressing the importance of dedicating ourselves to our studies and future careers. He also urged us to avoid mediocrity and to be demanding of ourselves in all aspects of our education. The emphasis on hard work and dedication underscores the education is not just about passing exams, but about preparing ourselves for the challenges ahead. But what exactly is the guarantee that Molana Hazir Imam refers to? Let's turn to Amiruddin Momin and see what he has to say. The Molana Hazir Imam, the only real guarantee of security in life is education. He believes that a well-trained mind can always find solutions to problems no matter how difficult life becomes. This belief is deeply rooted in our tradition, which values intellectual and spiritual growth. Balancing the joys of students' life with the demands of rigorous study can be challenging. What advice does Molana Hazir Imam gives on this matter? Let's turn to Shahzad Amin and see what he has to say. Molana Hazir Imam advises us enjoy our student life but not at the expense of our studies. He reminds us that there is an accounting for how we spent our time and it is essential to strike a balance between enjoying life and working hard. Failing to do so could result in missed opportunities and regrets later in life. The relationship between education and overcoming life's challenges is a reoccurring theme in this Farman. Let's explore how Moulana Hazar Imam describes this connection. Let's turn to Kalimullah Khan and see what he has to say. Moulana Hazar Imam described education as the key to overcoming life's challenges. He emphasizes that an educated mind is equipped to solve problems, adapt to changes, and find opportunities even in the most difficult circumstances. This is why he stresses that we should not waste our time and should focus on acquiring the knowledge and skills we need for the future. Molana Hazir Imam also shared his views on the role of teachers within the Jamaat. What did he say about this important profession? Let's turn to Shafia Jivani and see what she has to say. Hazir Imam views teachers as leaders in the Jamaat. He believes that teachers play a crucial role in preparing future generations for the challenges ahead. By passing on knowledge and values, teachers help shape the future of the community and ensure that students are ready to contribute to society. Finally, after studying this holy farman, how can we apply this guidance to our academic life moving forward? Let's turn to Mashal Amin and see what she has to say. After reflecting on this farman, 
A student should realize that they need to be more strategic in their studies. They must consult with career advisors to choose a field that aligns with the future needs of our country. And also make sure to balance their time wisely, focusing on their studies while still enjoying their student life. Most importantly, they should remember that education is their greatest asset and they should work hard to ensure that they are fully prepared for whatever challenges lie ahead. Let's reinforce all the discussed points in a simple song. Molana Hazir Imam's Farman is a timeless reminder of the importance of education, hard work and thoughtful decision making. As students, let us take this guidance to heart and strive to achieve our full potential knowing that our education is the key to a secure and fulfilling future. Thank you for joining us today. Ya Ali Madad.